So this is what Chrissy Teigen is doing because of all of those accusations that she faced in the last 48 hours. Hey guys, it's Murad Murali. Hope you guys are doing well today. If you haven't already, click that button for daily and consistent content, hourly and consistent. Head over to my Instagram, guys. Subscribe to the channel and let's get into this video. So I think all of you guys know, if you guys don't know, Chrissy Teigen came under massive fire, scrutiny and just accusations on Twitter because of the fact that she deleted nearly 60,000 tweets that were, you know, very suspicious, let's just say, and very confusing. And of course, she was naturally on Twitter. Chrissy Teigen is very reactive. So she reacted to all of it and saying that, you know, this is too much, it's hurting my family, can these people stop? It's ridiculous, what is going on? And of course, you know, she's completely entitled to have that reaction because it can be a lot for you to face, whether it's true or not. There isn't any clear, sufficient proof yet. So I'm not gonna be coming here with my chest and saying she's X, Y, Z. However, some of the stuff was definitely suspicious, especially the tweets about Toddlers and Tierras and the exact stuff that about going to jail and referencing certain pizzas. Or it, 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 it's interesting and it's suspicious. You can't say that. But at the same time, you know, I do feel for her. I do have sympathy for her. Reason why is because, you know, it's affecting her family a lot. But this is what she does now. Chrissy Teigen has now blocked more than 1 million people on Twitter after being targeted by online conspiracy theorists claiming that she's connected to Epstein and Ghislaine. Accusations of Teagan being on Epstein's flight log and part of a P PED O-ring have been renewed since the recent arrest of Maxwell. She says, I have blockchained over 1 million people. 1 million people today and I'm still flooded with sick psychopaths. She tweeted late Tuesday night, so please spare me the just ignore them, they're just trolls. Anyhow, I'll do my best to stop entertaining them. They have definitely been living for this and have zeroed in on only me. Thank you to everyone for helping me. One part I would disagree with is that I don't think that they've only zeroed in on her. People have also gone in Naomi Campbell to the point where she had to remove her comments and so forth. So I feel like Chris Deegan did get a lot of the flack. Yes, but she definitely isn't the only one because since that list and since the documentary and since Ghislaine being arrested, you know, a lot is being resurfaced now. And everybody being on lockdown as well, they now have the extra time to do so. But she has blocked over 1 million people with the help of friends. That in itself I think is crazy. The fact that there was 1 million or more going in on her. But I feel like the de deletion of tweets, 60,000 tweets, and the suspicious wording of tweets, you know, I can understand why there is frustration from people as well. You have to look at it from both sides and I can see what people will be like, you know, this is very weird. Because why are you saying that you would go to jail for X, Y, Z, that you would do this? I feel like perhaps it's also a dark humor that she does have that can easily be twisted or she's just somebody that is incredibly 24 seven sarcastic, which again can appear like something else, but at the same time, like, how can you not see why there's frustration? How can you not, instead of being so strongly reactive and irritated, which I understand, also be like, you know what? Yeah, okay, I get it. My humor, my sarcasm gets twisted like this and I can see that what I was saying was wrong. Do you know what I mean? A little bit of that as well, because this isn't coming out of nowhere. But at the end of the day, I can, I, I do understand that she's, you know, irritated, but blocking 1 million people is crazy. Like, it shows what you have to do. And she says that, you know, if Twitter doesn't get involved, I will end up having to do legal action over this matter. That is what she's choosing to do. Now, my question is, what do you guys think about this? Do you guys have empathy for her and understand her and, you know, are frustrated for her or understand her frustration? Or do you guys just not care and believe that, you know what, she's definitely, you know, there's something weird going on and she deserves all the flack and everything and that she's gonna get even more worse stuff? Or do you guys think that this person is just innocent and, you know, She's just getting a lot of undeserved hate. Let me know your thoughts when it comes to this, guys. Subscribe to the channel. Click that button for daily and consistent content. Head over to my Instagram, and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.